In this video, we're going to build a two's complement adder subtractor device using digital works. I would like you to complete the required macros in digital works and submit your files using this link to submit the files. Remember, there's also assignment three, uh, which is a questionnaire form for uh, the topic specific to digital logic. we can get started by opening the adder subtractor and the first part of this handout gives us an example of a circuit for a full adder so I want you to build this circuit in digital works and submit its completed version you should definitely add um, interactive inputs on the XYZ side of uh, this uh, circuit and also use LED indicators to be able to visualize the results of this uh, adder subtractor uh, device. The next uh, part of this handout is actually going over the creation of a uh, closed box implementation of this uh, circuit uh, essentially converting um, uh, this set of gates with all the connections uh, and uh, uh, with the XYZ and sum and carry terminals and turning it into a closed box device. In our laboratory I would like to take a different approach um, inside digital works because in its library it already contains a full adder closed box and I will show you how to get access to it. So in the first part just submit the circuit as a complete version with interactive inputs and LED indicators. So here is second part of this lab that I want you to complete. I'm opening digital works on my computer and you can see that there is a part of the toolbox right here there's a part center in part center just make sure that it's visible on your screen uh, you can go to Mac and uh, one of the macros is a binary full adder the way you can add it to your circuit design is simply uh, highlight it in the part center and drag this macro into the design space okay so it should be uh, recognizable that we have this um, uh, full adder device which basically internally implements this um, logic and uses three inputs and two outputs. You can see that the terminals of this macro are labeled as carry in, inputs A and B, and also the sum and carry out. So that's exactly the implementation of all the terminals that the full adder uh, uh, needs to um, accept and generate. Our task is to build a 4-bit binary adder. So I will close this um, art center now because now I can select uh, this uh, macro, copy it and paste it uh, to duplicate because obviously I need four of these to be able to build a four-bit adder. Let's add a label uh, to our uh, design and it will be four-bit adder and also we're going to add a switch which will also allow this device to operate as a subtractor okay so this is our design right here so let's continue with some inputs so we need to add uh, uh, four bit inputs for a
this is input A. And likewise, we also need um, input uh, for the B. I'm just duplicating these, and I will update this label to specify B. Let's put input B to the side for now. Just move it to another side. And first, let's start by simply wiring in inputs uh, to, um, to our full headers. So we need to be able to uh, recognize that, uh, of course, the bits are 0, 1, 2, and 3. This is the sequence of our bits. So the lowest bit I will attach to A inputs of our full header. like this. Uh, the carry out of each lower bit goes into carry in of the higher bit, like this. Instead of connecting B uh, input uh, directly to B uh, terminals of our full headers, I am going to first add another input uh, somewhere in our uh, design, and I will label it a sign, which will be uh, zero uh, means a plus which is adding and 1 will equal minus or subtraction. Okay, so this will be uh, an extra signal that I would like to use because my, my task is to construct adder subtractor device based on a switch. So this will be a switch of the mode. So it's, uh, it's sign or mode signal which will turn an adder into a subtractor. You may recall from earlier discussions in this course that A minus B could be used as A plus minus B. So in addition to the mode of operation, this sign should actually convert a positive B input into a negative B input. And uh, recall that there are basically two steps. One uh, step, step one would be to flip uh, all bits. And step number two is add one. In our case, flipping all bits has to be controlled by the sign. So let's construct this uh, truth table where we have input B, uh, one of the bits of input B, and also the sign. And all possibilities would include 0, 0, uh, 0, 1. 1, 0, 1, 1. I'm also adding this uh, new uh, modified B output uh, to this uh, uh, truth table uh, with B over bar, which should remain the same when sign is 0, and which also should flip. B should be changed when the sign is 1. So here we have unchanged B, and here, because the sign again is a 1, 
I would like to flip it so it becomes this and uh, if you look closely at this uh, truth table you should recognize that this is uh, an, ex a, a, an exclusive or so exclusive or can solve a problem uh, for uh, our mode of operation so let's uh, before we connect our B inputs to our full adder device right here uh, let's uh, use an exclusive or exclusive or gate combined uh, with inputs B and the signal so first I would like to uh, create a little bit more space for my design I will just simply select all elements and move them uh, to the right hand side and here I will take the exclusive OR gates uh, I need four of them for each bit uh, of B and I'll just use um, copy and paste uh, like this to multiply them and connect uh, B using this exclusive OR so these are inputs B rearrange it a little bit more I just simply need more space right here take the sign input place it on the opposite side and start making connections Now, all of these exclusive OR gates will be connected directly to inputs B in our full adder circuits. And I will do my best to make adjustments to make it look nice like this. I'm just using my keyboard to move objects around the diagram to make it uh, as nice as possible. And the final step will be connecting the sign or mode signal control to the remaining gates of our exclusive OR uh, gate. So you can see that we are supplying uh, our mode signal or sign uniformly to every uh, exclusive or uh, gate <coughs> in the circuit design. So finally we would like to be able to see the result and for this we can choose this numeric output um, gadget. So this numeric output will play somewhere here. Um, the display format we can use a decimal or binary or we can switch uh, around uh, to complement interpretation yes um, and uh, the input uh, we're going to use uh, four input lines so this is our <coughs> uh, sum final sum result so we can just take this uh, and uh, again the the inputs here are 0 1 2 3 so we need to be careful how we connect all of this just need to use appropriate uh, terminals to make our connections so I completed my connections and now just adjust the labels <coughs> to indicate uh, what our inputs inputs are and uh, let's give it a try 
to test a little bit the circuitry and what kind of results we are going to get. So I'm just going to, first I'm going to save this circuit, uh, naming it a 4-bit four four-bit adder subtractor. And now it's time to uh, uh, start doing some testing. However, just before we do this, uh, there is another uh, part that we completely forgot about, and this is step number two, add one. So adding one is required to correctly convert B to a minus B. So we found a way to flip all bits by using an exclusive OR function on uh, the bits of B and the sign uh, mode. And so finally, we also need to add uh, one more connection here, which is uh, take this carry in into the full adder and actually connect it directly to the sign. So when the sign becomes one, which will indicate that the mode of operation will be a subtraction to activate subtraction. This will effectively add one uh, to our adder because the carry input in the first bit full adder was unused. So this is very convenient way to supply this extra one to flip all bits of B uh, to complete the circuit. So hopefully now after saving this latest modification and as we start uh, running it, you can see that um, both of my inputs A and B at the beginning are set uh, to zero. And now I switch over to the object interaction uh, start adding some values right here. You can see 1 over here. Uh, B also becomes 1, so it becomes 2. And let's say that B is 3, so we have 3. Of course, this is binary 11, but um, the actual value is 3. And then if we want to switch over to the uh, subtraction mode, if I uh, make it like this, uh, you can see that the B gets flipped. And so what happens is that we are taking positive 1 and subtracting uh, 3, subtracting um, 3 from positive 1. So the result is negative 2, which is correct. And for example, uh, when we go to uh, an 8, so this becomes minus 6, right? So uh, unfortunately, in my arrangement is like A minus B. So it's a little bit backwards, but the, the work is complete and it seems to be functioning correctly. Um, so this circuit, uh, this is the example of the circuit in this lab that I also want you to complete and submit as part of this laboratory exercise. And to, to clarify this little confusion between the positioning of A and B, perhaps I would like to change this um, um, annotation. Uh, to say that this is a mode. Uh, let's name it a mode. And this mode represents that if we have zero, uh, this means um, that we're doing A plus B. And if it's a one, uh, our action is A minus B. So that should kind of clarify a little bit uh, what um, what is the meaning of this extra input in our diagram. So let me 